That's the one! Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah, I think Jason Statham would have been a better... All right, let's get off that topic. Yeah, we're let's done get off. We're, we're, we're done. Done. We need to get back into the, the aliens. The here. aliens? All right. Martian aliens. The Martians. They're there. They're, They're underground. 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 Once we start to settle, then we will uh, start deep going into think, these caves. And do you then, think uh, that the, the first? You think that they're going to send weapons with the first people that go up there? They should. To Just fight the as a precaution against the subterranean aliens, Martian Marlocks, if you will, Marlocks. I said Marlocks. The Martians. Why would they be anything but Martians? I said Marlocks is a time Marlocks. machine reference. Yeah, I, I got it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, screw that, all right? I don't know. I'm trying to make comedy here. You know? I'm failing <laughs> miserably. <laughs> but no, I mean... I, I always wondered that. We, like, or, we already kind of went over the biggest theory with Mars and in, in, uh, extraterrestrial life is they might be underground... And then, historically, they've well, always been invaders from us. My my thing or is that we like, came from them. Even before I even think about that, even if there were aliens or not, I wonder if they do send weapons with the the people, the Martians. I think you need weapons just for man, just for to deal with other men. Yeah, I think you need to have some because it's like they're not know. really a a sovereign nation, right? They're like their own thing. I think that every because that rule that was made by the by the. Um, UN that no country can own a planet in our solar system but a corporation owns it or some person a private company owns it or they it. Be, just become their own nation yeah at that point they would just become Mars. every sovereign nation has a military and has a police force so yeah. you need to be able to control your people yeah so you, so need, you need some weapons. kind of weapon but I wonder if they're gonna do that I, I think so Cause listen, I'd be interested to see. No, you would smuggle. Like at a certain point, if they let enough people in, you would smuggle some shit in there. Cause you need to have some kind of authority or power over anyone else. Like I'm not gonna listen to you if I think I can take a swing yeah. at you and fucking beat your ass. But if you had a gun, then I'm like, okay, I'll do what you say. No. Yeah. I think sure. when you boil it down to human nature, you need that kind of pushback. Like I have a gun. Yeah. Do what I say. It's the only way to, to assert your dominance. But again. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, that's true. But like, you're on Mars. I mean, everyone's in, it's a small community. You could send them out the airlock. You know, that, that's you like another. To, uh, bad, what, yeah, bad what's bad. the psychology behind that about being in Mars for extended period of times? Like, some people nobody might get, knows might get crazy. You yeah. know, you, you know, might have to shoot them out the airlock. But it might be like Ghost on Mars, the mm-hmm. John Carpenter film that was from amazing with Ice Cube and uh, the lady from. Uh, Species. Yeah. That likes to show her boobs on screen. But that and was I love a it. great movie. It's great. You watched Ghost on Mars? Yeah. I watched uh, I watched um Species too. That was excellent. Great movies, great films. <laughs> all, all all three. I almost said great boobies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, uh, Ghost of Mars of course was uh when they opened up the mind of uh ghosts and then released the ghosts and then possessed the Mars the people colonizing Mars. I I think it's it's definitely gonna be interesting to find out what happens and definitely everyone should let us know what they think about yeah of about course. Mars. let us know like, what you think about Mars. let us know would you go and join the colony on mars would you join one mars or elon musk and his eighty thousand people he plans to send there let us know in the comments and also let us know what you think a cool uh like state name or like Province name would be of a I Martian. I think it's gonna call be called Muskville. Musk, the land of Musk. Because like obviously no. Mars is a planet, but you have to kind of break them up into states and provinces, right? Muskka, Muskka, no. Muskka. Well, wow. listen to that Muskville. asshole <laughs> driving that motorcycle. <laughs> Muskka, Muskka. Nah, it's gonna be like Musk. In the common in this colony, are you a musketeer? Musketeer, Ooh, you yes. would be. You would be. I think musketeer is if the you one. Leave us a comment and tell us what you would what you would name the province or the city that you would you would start there in Mars. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. thank you everyone for for listening and and uh, and watching us. 
Please like and subscribe us on YouTube and on all of our social media. So we have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and uh, we have Patreon too. So if you enjoy our content and you like what we do, please support us there. Uh, we're going to be putting bonus content up there for all those who become Patreon supporters. Uh, and then you'll, if you have some sweet ideas for us, send them our way. We'll, we'll, we're definitely uh, interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Thank you, everyone. All right, everybody. Have a good one. <laughs> you didn't say bye. Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs>